Hey everybody, I'm Ross Hudgens, founder of Siege Media, and today I wanna to give you some detail on how much content marketing should and can cost. So a lot of clients come to us and they ask, hey Ross, how much is content marketing? Well, I wanna do content marketing, I don't necessarily know how much it costs. Got a little framework for it, maybe I've tried it a little, it hasn't, it hasn't worked. Uh, how much do you guys cost? And my response generally is, we have certain frameworks for our cost, but additionally, we're also trying to communicate the difference between a good content marketing campaign and a content marketing campaign that is done for the sake of it and does not really ever result in much outcomes uh, other than blog posts published at the end of the day. It is those bad businesses that do content marketing that maybe sell as part of a package, hey, we'll do four posts a month for you for $200 per post, and, and those kind of efforts, they get, they get nothing they, because they're not deliberate, they're not strategic, as opposed to the people that do content marketing well think of it is every post is its own effort, it's its own idea, it can be customized around it. Yes, there can be commonalities and averages to how long things take, but generally that's on the long side, not the short side. So in this video, I wanna give you some context for how much good work uh, should cost in order to get the results from content marketing to stand out in today's landscape. And the first piece of that is actually just making sure that you have the right framework to create and promote content. What I mean by that is design. Some people come to us and they have this unfortunately horrendous looking website or sometimes only a horrendous looking blog. And they haven't really realized that to have success from a content marketing perspective, you need a beautiful framework, not just beautiful one-off content that you create. And because of this, we often recommend that we create a custom blog design for them or go off and get that th themselves in order to really get results from that effort moving forward. And what that can cost you know, from my experience is on the bottom range is in the five to six K area to do that well. You can get it for less, you can get it a lot worse for less, and then you can get as high as 20K plus for a basic website that's mostly content to be done really well if you really want to stand out and have a basically best in class design with your work. So if you're not ready to invest that sunk cost in the design of your website, you should probably stop and make sure you have the budget and the money to do that and then take the next step towards content creation. And with that next step with content creation is the single elements that you would then put around your great design. And the first piece is kind of a basic blog post. What should a basic blog post cost? To me, done well is in the thousand to 2000 range. And why I use that kind of metric of 1000 to 2000 to determine a good blog post so if you think about a well done blog post that you've seen, that you've seen, there's a ideation section. They've written down a ton of ideas, they've cropped some, they've done an investigation to see if other people have published things like this that got success. Maybe they asked some people, maybe they bounced it off their manager. Additionally, once they came up with that, they did eight hours of research. They looked up different data points, they curated it, they published it, and then they, added, they went to a designer and said, hey, could I get some custom elements in each of these places? And then you can compare something like that, and then you can think of the basic $150 blog post that you see. Those are always normally 400 to 600 words of content, zero hours of research. They pull the first stock photo that's free from whatever site they website they use. There's not much context or uh, unique value being added as compared to any other website on the, on the internet. And yeah, maybe that other post has 600 words, but you can see the difference in research and ideation and design that makes that 600 words worthy of that 1,000 to 2,500 framework uh, when creating content. A next element that you might wanna create is an infographic. Same kind of idea, research, content creation, but in this time, you're using even more design time in order to create that. A uh, good designer is not cheap, uh, so in that range you could probably get 2,000 to 3,000 for a well done infographic. And then when you get to animation, maybe you want to animate an infographic, same thing, well done ideation, in-depth research, now you're handing to an animator, which is generally a more experienced designer, and that depth, it takes even more time. And normal infographic will take us around four days, while an animated one might take us two weeks. So you can see that difference in time creates a cost difference which brings that to around 6,000 for an infographic by itself. 
Videos are similar and to do high quality video as well, I'd say around 3000 per minute is a general framework for a basic-ish video. And obviously the more complex that shoot gets, uh, the more expensive it can become on a per video basis. So maybe a two minute video could be in the 6000 range to be done really well. Depending on what kind of efficiencies you bring and if you do it over and over again, it can be easier. For example, we're doing these video series. It's not as hard to do it the second time because we were doing these over and over again. But if you're doing a one-off shoot that's completely unique in, on its own standing, it's probably gonna be in the 5,000, 6,000 range to just do that video well in terms of casting, videography, uh, script, and all of those things that you need to consider. Uh, other things to consider, photography posts as well, that can also add some complexity if you wanna do original photography and a blog post that are kind of detailed on the first point, that might go in the 2,000, 3,000 range rather than 1,000, 2,000 post for a high quality post because you're having to do that exclusive, that photo shoot that's unique to it. You have to get value from that perspective uh, to take it to that next level. Finally, interactives are definitely a differentiating factor uh, and they take even more time to be done really well. You can use some interactive frameworks that developers can leverage, but as most know, developers um, are highly regarded and therefore hard to get a hold of and therefore because of that supply and demand economic reality, it, it makes development work more expensive. But that, that also means that you stand out if you're willing to invest in that time in a talented, experienced developer, and also the right idea that stands out from that capacity. After the content creation side is the content distribution side. So what does distribution cost? I think to do it well, there's a functional cost in around like the 70 to 85 an hour kind of range. So that's kind of a framework of what we charge, but I think in some ways that's the charge for anyone to do it well. So obviously I'm kind of biased because I think we have a good process and we've been doing this for five plus years. But if you do this in house, you're gonna have someone promoting that, but you also need the strategic overview of someone to recommend how to do that best, how to do it in the highest leverage way. Therefore, to get the same results as that other company or an agency like us, I think you probably need to add double those costs to get the same results. Um, obviously you might be a little biased in thinking that, but I think the general framework is to distribute something, be in a 75-ish hour to 85 an hour range for a good, talented content marketing specialist with digital experience, with writing experience, with outreach experience. And to add to that, for most posts that we recommend around 16 hours of promotion, depending on the site, depending on the effort you put in, you might wanna put in more. Sometimes you might wanna put in less. But I think that general framework for a really well done post in that $3,000 to $5,000 range is a good framework. So that generally means around 1250 to 1500 per post to distribute that content just from the labor perspective of doing the cold outreach, uh, doing the additional distribution on Reddit and through social communities and things like that. So beyond the manual labor, there's also distribution in terms of potential paid distribution. Obviously, there's Facebook advertising that you can do. You can advertise on LinkedIn, Pinterest, uh, Outbrain. All these vehicles have their own methodology for distributing that content. Uh, as of today, Facebook is by far the best value for the cost, in my opinion, for most, uh, most verticals. Your vertical might make sense for Pinterest and other places like that. But in general, you might want to spend around 10 to potentially $100 per post on that distribution activity. And you can tell in essence, bringing this all together, the distribution, the creation, the sunk cost, a good content marketing campaign, in my opinion, for a small business should be in the 10 to 15K a month range to be done even solidly. And then when you get into more complex, uh, more high competition verticals where uh, you're going against big players with big budgets, I think that can get into the 30,000 to 50,000 to 60,000 a month range for a well done content marketing campaign that's pulling from so many different angles of video, of animation, of uh, original photography. That's what it really takes to compete. And yes, content marketing done well is not cheap, but I think the ROI is definitely still there from every single study you can read. Uh, so th that said, content marketing done well is kind of 
it does take a stepping point, a willingness to do it and spend some time investing in it to get that return from search and all those other great things, social sharing from that effort. But at the end of the day, um, content marketing is not expensive. Bad content marketing is expensive, but if you do it well, it'll be, uh, in my opinion, the best investment you can make. So hopefully you found this valuable. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and let us know what you thought. Thanks for watching.